I'll tell you what, this is a room of chaos. I can't even get to my guns in case of the uh, revolution starting in my backyard. <clears throat> and, that, uh, and I can't even get to my electric trains. I don't know which is worse. I can't get to the guns or can't get to the trains. But this is what I'm up to. <clears throat> I'm in the process of trying to build an elevated over the center uh, set of track here. <clears throat> and that's a 54 or 57 inch radius. I can't remember which. But this is what I've done so far. This is my, my mock-up. This will allow my larger standard gate engine to run underneath of it. What I like is on top I could run dual gauge, double, double track, one gauge. I could run double track, O gauge. And I could run a single track, standard gauge. And I'm trying to decide, I want to put cross pieces on it to make it more stable, but I want it to look halfway decent. Now, this, as it stands, is 12 inches apart. This is a little over 6 inches apart. And what I was going to do was put cross bucks from corner to corner. A, it would give it a more realistic, you know, look of a, of a trestle. And... Uh, it might be more uh, aesthetically pleasing. Uh, is that the term I'm looking for? Uh, so <clears throat> that's what I'm working on, and uh, it, it works. It works real good. When you put uh, something heavy on these, uh, they they uh, they're very solid. In fact, I took the Hellgate bridge. Now that's a new reproduction of it, but I set them on top of this, and it they it made it rock solid. So I may even try to uh, to mount the bridge up in the air too on the trestle but it would run all the way around and it would come down to here and then it's going to loop back so it's just going to be a, a oval of about 13 feet and then the rest of this area would be uh, would be free it wouldn't be covered up and of course in the center there would be uh, would be free of uh, stuff so I could put more track in I'm also in the process now of hanging some of my steel craft airplanes there's my first one. That is the Spirit of St. Louis. I've got that hanging up from the lamp on fishing line. I don't know if you can see this or not, but over there, now you can't because it's all fine fishing line. I try, I've got fishing line strung all the way across the ceiling. It don't work. Uh, there's too much flex in it. Uh, you put a plane on it, uh, these steel craft planes are not exactly light and uh, they hang almost to the uh, almost to the layout top, tabletop. But I am gonna hang uh, some on these receptacles here. And I've got about five more planes to hang and I think it will add a bit of, uh, uh, a bit of toyishness uh, to the whole, uh, the whole situation. So this is what I'm up to and I'm hoping that within the next few months I can have this completely finished and, and put all the way around and then that way I could run uh, uh, well, I, what I'm going to do on the top, I'm actually going to use some scale track because I have, I have uh, pre-war and just after the war, O-gauge, scale O-gauge. This is what scale O-gauge I got. All of this dates uh, from about 1950 to uh, maybe 65, uh, and this... Uh, O-gauge reefer car that I've got here, I built that myself, so that's that's a newer addition, but uh, I always wanted to, to throw a kit together, so that's what I did about 35 years ago. That was a $19 kit, and I think I've got $300 invested in it, and you're saying, 300 bucks, why that much? Well, I bought an air compressor, I bought a uh, uh, a spray uh, uh, artist uh, uh, spray brush, uh, airbrush, which was not cheap. I didn't buy a cheap one. I bought an expensive one. And by the time he got done doing all that stuff, uh, what was a, just a common kit that uh, turned into a $300 adventure. And I still got the stuff, but that stuff, wasn't, it wasn't cheap to do it. These are uh, brass imports and uh, really well done. Uh, some of them are actually kits, brass kits that the guys put together. So. I intend to run that and uh, the, the King Kidder that was made in the late 50s, uh, early 60s, they did HO and O gauge as just a little brass plantation engine. I plan to run those up on the top of this with real scale track, sectional track, but scale track so that I could run both uh, scale and template uh, all, 
all at the same time and it won't make any difference if it's AC or DC I'll be able to switch things over so this is what I'm up to and and uh, I'm looking forward to slowly moving it forward and uh, I'll let you I'll show you the progress as we go along